Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake helping you create something awesome today. So in today's Photoshop CC tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to mask the simple and easy way. And to do that, we're going to use the quick selection tool for our masking. For those of you who are not familiar, masking is how you remove a person from a background or vice versa. And you do that non-destructively. You don't use the eraser tool. We use masking instead so that if we make mistakes, we can easily correct them and we can make changes. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing we're going to do here is I'm just going to make a duplicate of our background and I'm going to use command J for that. And so now I have a duplicate here. We're just going to go ahead and toggle off the visibility of our main background and we're just going to label this model. So now we're going to use the quick selection tool, which is shortcut W. And we're just going to go ahead and select the areas of our model. And this is really simple. And this just calculates and figures out based on where we're moving our mouse or our pen, you know, where the shapes and the consistency and colors are. This is much better than the old way we used to do it using the magic wand and or the lasso tool. And you could still use those tools for masking and for um, selections. But this is a very accurate way to select. And you don't have to make it perfect because then we'll go into the refine edge tool. And I'll show you that here shortly. So I've held this down and I'm just going to make um, some more selections once this loads. And just to be able to get in closer, I'm going to zoom in which you can do a uh, shortcut Z, go back to shortcut W. I'm just gonna select a little bit of the area outside of the model just to be able to uh, mask more cleanly and effectively when we get started and so I don't miss anything important. Again, we're gonna separate her from this background color using refine edge later. So if we get a little bit of the gray in here, it's fine. Now, if there's an area that we don't want our selection, we can hold down the alt key and paint back in there and that will remove it from the overall selection so that's very handy and that's what we'll want to do and overall I think that we're pretty close here in terms of having the selection that we want we've got pretty much everything we need selected here for our model I'll just use spacebar down to just double check over that so we've got everything for our dancer here. Awesome. Okay. So now we're going to go to the refine edge menu here. And you can see that that does most of our work for us. We're going to select the smart radius here. And that's going to do some of the work. And if we want to get a better idea of what's going on here, we can use different modes. We can use overlay or we can put it against black and we just get an idea of what's going on here. So one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to paint out sections here around the hair using our brush. And let's switch back to the red just because that's easier for me to see personally. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're going to just brush over these areas and you're gonna see what's gonna happen right now and see it's removing that gray so we'll want to continue to um, do that that will take the gray out of our selection all right and that actually looks pretty good and again we can make some adjustments here All right, and once we're satisfied, we will click OK. That applies it to our selection. We go down to our mask button. And with one click, we've effectively masked out our subject. Now, if we think we want to paint something back in and we're not entirely happy with how these things came out, it's not a problem. We'll just select our mask here by clicking on it in the thumbnail space. We'll select a brush. And with white, anything we want to paint back in can be brought back. 
and anything we want to get rid of, we can use black to paint away. Anything you don't feel the masking tools did a good job with, you can manually correct, and that's why we use masking. Well, I hope you enjoyed this Photoshop CC tutorial. Remember, this technique is not limited to Adobe Photoshop CC or CC 2014. You can do this in any modern version of Photoshop, including versions CS3 through CS6. So just keep that in mind that the Refine Edge tool and all of these features exist in older versions of Photoshop as well, and will probably exist in the version you're using. If you still have questions about masking or any other Photoshop questions, or if there's another tutorial you'd like to see from me, let me know that in the comment section below. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching, and don't forget, create something awesome today.